Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Rachel Sager, and this is The Spiral, The Shell, and The Sprocket, a beginner's collection of mosaic projects. A beginner learning experience doesn't have to be cookie cutter. It doesn't have to be too elementary. I believe a beginner's course can be technically achievable while also tickling the parts of your brain that help you see what might lay ahead down the path to the projects of your future self. One of my favorite things to do when teaching about complex ideas is to simplify. Mosaic is such a big art. There are lifetimes of lessons to be learned in its languages. The nature of these custom-made frames that we use here are that they take the worrying about designing the composition off the table. All you need to do is choose which one or ones you want to make and then start choosing your materials. You could call this experience a mosaic material sampler. As part of the course, I will show you how to enhance the raw wood frames with acrylic paint color washes. You can choose to make all of yours the same color mix or mix them up to complement your plan mosaic plans for them. I've created these projects to inspire your imagination, take you on a journey of easy to acquire glass, stone, and ceramic. You will watch me work in real time as I make each six of these projects. I share with you how I choose materials, how the materials interact with each other, all of this can be achieved with nippers. This course is perfect for a first or second time mosaic maker, but it's also an engaging adventure for the more seasoned artist. If I had to describe the vibe for this course, it would be relaxing, but inspiring. Three compositions in my specially designed frames that are also substrates, the spiral as a symbol of intuition, the shell as a symbol of proportion, and the sprocket as a symbol of contrast. Three compositions, each made in two distinctly different way, ways, means that this course in reality is six separate but complementary projects all in one. Included in this course is a PDF of the tools, materials, resources, as well as a link to purchase these custom made frames. Come join me and the spiral, the shell, and the sprocket. Rachel, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm not exactly sure what course number this is anymore, but wow, every time you show up, you really knock it out of the park, and this one is no less. This was exciting. This was a fun one. It really was. I had a ball. I had a ball filming it. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, it's all about material, really. Yes, it's about mm -hmm. materials, but it's also about these frames. So before mm -hmm. we dive into what you designed here, talk about the inspiration of why each of these shapes. So these aren't just off the cuff. There was a lot of thought in this, right? Yes, there certainly was. I really wanted to teach a beginner-friendly course, um, but I wanted it to be really interesting, really interesting. And so I have uh, these um, these specially... Uh, routed out frames that are that are made specifically for mosaic. They're the right depth. Uh, they have enough little. Look at the little compartments they so have many, in them. And look what was and achieved. I know. And this. I mean, they're all different. The three. The three shapes are very. They're circular, but they have their own personalities. And um, <clears throat> I wanted. It, I wanted it to be an adventure for a beginner, but also I wanted it to be very friendly for someone who has made lots of mosaic and, and just wants to have a fun project. Cause this is truly, this is fun. Well, it is. And while we were filming it, we just threw out so many different ideas about how you could do a series of three different Oh my ones. gosh. Absolutely. Yeah. How you could do uh -huh. a series of just one design, mm -hmm. how you could do all the different materials. So speaking of materials, Obviously, you see countless materials sitting mm -hmm. here, but this is a mosaic material sampler. <clears throat> and explain why you chose to do so many different materials for this course. Well, I wanted it to be a way for a new mosaicist to be introduced to all the different things. Because, I mean, sometimes it can be overwhelming uh, because there are so many choices and there are tools involved in the choices. Uh, the way I've created this course the only thing we use is nippers to cut. Yes. Um, as much as I love the hammer and hardy, you know, we did, you do not need that for this course, uh, partly because of the size of, of each project. 
but we, I mean, we have small tea, unglazed porcelain, marble, sandstone, sh uh, slate, and stained glass. Stained glass. Uh, we do have some 24 karat gold small tea, which is very exciting. You'll, you'll hear all about why we chose that and Picassiet. So, you know, it really is, the, it runs the gamut of what can be used as mosaic material. And you know, that's one of the, my favorite things to talk about is what can a mosaic, what is a mosaic? What can a mosaic be? The, yeah. yeah. And these are, there's just countless ways. And you even plugged in a little Falati into oh, each of these right. just to show how it can be used. You know, in one of your previous courses, it's all about the Falati. Here mm -hmm. we are just using it as a highlight. Right. Yes. And just that... giving it a little bit. But <clears throat> there was a lot of problem solving that mm -hmm. went on while filming this because mm -hmm. Rachel actually had never made one of these before. So she came here as a brave soul and someone that was rehearsing on camera, as I like to say, and tell us a little bit about how you solved some of those problems and who taught you that really important I love, lesson. I love going back to that and giving um, Veriano Marzi credit for uh, you know, just being in his courses and one of his workshops years and years ago. And, and you know how sometimes you just remember something and it stays with you forever. Yes. I forget a lot of things, but <laughs> I, I remember this. And he said that mosaic uh, presents you with a series of problems. It's just the nature of the art. And it's your job as the artist to, to find interesting ways to solve them. I mean, this course is certainly that. So we um, we had a little hiccup with the unglazed mm -hmm. porcelain, uh, which was a little bit more difficult to cut than I expected. But we do have um, alternatives to that. So I learned that I will not be working with that again for this kind of a project. So, so when you watch her cut every one of those pieces in the course, have a little compassion for that poor girl's hand, <laughs> even though she's using the compound nippers. Yeah. So, but outside of that, this was like watching just literally art be made on camera. And it was so beautiful to watch how she just works with the materials like they are a part of who she is. It was it doesn't matter what level of artist you are. This could be by far one of the most gratifying and really achievable was. projects <laughs> for immediately wanting to hang on your wall. And the fact mm -hmm. that all six of these are staying here at the Mosaic <laughs> Arts Online headquarters is by far one of the greatest gifts. So is there anything else you want to add? Oh, I have to go home and make some of my own now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was something else I was going to say. What was, oh, well, the frames. The frames yes. um, are custom made by Sager Mosaics and they will be on the website for sale like in this uh, like this so part of the the course is teaching you how to do the color wash that that gives them all these fun um, you know engaging colors that work with the mosaic but if you purchase one this is what it will look like and you're burnishing them for people and you want to talk <clears throat> a minute about why they're sure burnished. yeah I well you all know some of you might know that I really like to work with the torch uh, <laughs> So I have torches in the studio and it's a really nice trick for making things pop out with wood. And when you take this just very lightly across the top of the frame, it makes the indentations and the routed out part pop out so you can see it more clearly. So a nice trick. And you know. each of these were made with black tinted mortar, which will also be part mm -hmm. of the course so that you can buy the black tint here from Mosaic Arts Online if you like. But this is part of what she teaches is how beautifully she can make a bed with the black mortar and work clean, which everybody mm -hmm. out there, we know you're doing your best to continue to work clean because that's what we want. It is important. <laughs> yeah, it is important. Teach everybody <clears throat> is to work clean. So mm -hmm. again, Thank you, Rachel, so much for bringing this to Mosaic Arts Online. I think the students are so lucky to follow you on this journey of these six projects. I can't wait to see what happens with, with uh, when they go out there in the world. I'm very excited about that. Yes, so. <laughs> and please post your photos in mm -hmm. the comment section or any questions you have for Rachel in this course. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy.